This YouTuber brought forward some allegations without realizing that later down the line, he would pay for it massively. I have no agenda. If his art sucks, let's can dunk on him. He sucks. Countless comments of people calling me a liar and claiming that I posted about this situation in malice towards Super Mega. Let's just let it play a couple more times. Welcome back to my channel, baby. Here I am, in the flesh. Meet Jerry, guys. Come on, Jerry. Get over there. Guys, this is Jerry. <laughs> Yeehaw! Wanna say something, Jerry? Jerry, you smell like shit, Jerry. So guys, we've got a lot to go through today. Meet the biggest incel on YouTube. Nick is not green. And judging by your social blade recently, Nick is red. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, I'm sorry for the lack of videos recently. You're probably wondering, he doesn't care about us. Well, I do, okay? In fact, I've got a new office just for you and me. You don't have to be in the bedroom anymore like some loser. This room, this office, just like Jerry, is new. I've moved out. I'm in a new property, a new establishment, and I'm loving it. I can't even begin to explain to you guys what I've had to deal with in the last two months. Just moving into this property took two months alone. Don't let me get into it. Just don't. All right, fine, I'll get into it. No, I'm not. I am sorry for leaving you guys, but guess what? I'm back, baby. So you know what to do. Comment down below. This video is really cool. This <laughs> is really cool. Do that, guys, and I'll be sure to love heart it and reply saying you are my best viewer. You're my number one customer. You're my number one customer. Now, the first thing I saw when I came back to YouTube was Nick is not green, all of my recommended. And then I thought to myself, who is that YouTuber? Yes, that's right. It's the YouTuber that looks like a raging crack addict. You know, the guy with the crazy hair. And he made a video being the voice for his friend, who apparently was simply a by a YouTuber called Super Mega. These allegations didn't exactly have any proof behind it. He just wanted to defend his friend on his huge platform of 800k subs. And this huge incel even admitted that he didn't even care if the allegations are real or not. He was just gonna defend them because they were his friends. <laughs> and these friends that we're talking about here is the other creatures, Ethan is online and his girlfriend. Apparently his girlfriend is the one that got s -aids. And here's the thing guys, allegations can ruin people's lives. Just because Steve McDonald told me that Craig had inappropriately touched an animal, I'm not gonna go on my YouTube channel and a Accuse Craig of doing so because guess what? I don't know the full story. I don't have any evidence. I'm gonna like to stand on. Oh my god. Now the channel Super Mega is run by Matt Watson and Ryan Maggie, but here's the interesting thing. The allegations wasn't even about these two YouTubers. It was about a graphic designer that worked for them. But in Nick's video, he didn't target the person that the allegations were against. In fact, he targeted the entire brand. He didn't just target them, he grilled them. And by the layout of the video, it seems that Nick was only trying to profit off the situation rather than actually trying to address the problem. Now soon after releasing it, he would actually remove the video after all the backlash he was receiving. He moved on and released an apology video where he would claim that there was no hidden agenda by his original video, that the video wasn't made in malice against Super Mega. But in the follow-up video, you didn't outline exactly what was said in that video. In fact, you showed yourself to be a massive hypocrite, someone who is disingenuous, someone who is dishonest, and you proved that you tried to profit off these allegations rather than take them seriously, when you targeted the entire brand. So just as expected, Nick got thrashed for making that video. He even ended up losing 10,000 subscribers because of it. Now, if my assumption is correct, from past experience, when a YouTuber starts losing many, many subscribers on something they've done wrong, they release an apology. So do you think he did it? Let's have a look. I want to address this issue completely separate from her and talk about how I inappropriately handled reporting on a story that I should not have reported on. I'm realizing pretty late that I was too close to the story and regardless on my personal feelings for the situation, it was irresponsible for me to involve myself. Yes, that's right. Oh my God, a YouTuber finally speaking some sense. He's realized he's done wrong, everybody. The war's over. A YouTuber apologizes sincerely. But here's the thing, Ethan is online, could have spoken about it. He could have defended his girlfriend. He's got 200K subs, but he wanted to go to someone with a bigger platform. And look what happened. This is naughty, naughty stuff, this is. But ha hang on a second. I've just seen something on Instagram. Let me just... Read this out to everybody. Despite the bigoted freaks that will continue to lead the hate campaign against what I do, I still feel the need to speak to those who are actually fans of what I do because they do not deserve the mess I've gotten myself in. Anyway, this is the last I'll talk about it. Back to normal videos now. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at this mess real quick because it's been all over the place. I'm a bit confused now. You started losing thousands of subscribers. You panicked, jumped on YouTube, made an apology video. In the next video, apologized again to then call everyone that disagrees with you bigots. It's not really an apology then, is it? Because you just think you just think all the people that are upset with you are bigots. 
<laughs> Fucking bigoted freaks. You're not really making the situation any better for yourself, are you, Nick? What it sounds like to me is that you think that you've actually done nothing wrong and that the people who are angry with you and trying to hold you accountable are just bigoted idiots. Well, what if they were once fans and now they disagree with your actions? Does that mean they're bigoted freaks now because they disagreed with you? Oh, hey, don't disagree with Nick is not green. I don't want to be called a bigoted freak. You know what it is, guys? Nick is just extremely sensitive. Okay, he's very sensitive, so if you disagree with him, he's gonna get really upset about it. And start calling you names like bigoted idiots and bigoted freaks and everything. You get this? He made a third apology, but not because he was very sorry. Because he was losing subscribers. Still, after all this. I swear this guy's apologized so many times, but after he apologizes, he just calls people bigoted idiots on Instagram. This really shows the kind of character this guy is. He, he's not sorry, he doesn't care. <laughs> he just doesn't want to lose any subscribers. He doesn't want to lose his money, his green. Well, guess what? You've lost it, Nick. That's why your name is Nick is not green. Your name was foreshadowing the future all along, buddy. But anyway, are we all ready to hear this guy's third apology? I know I am. Buckle with your seatbelts. Eat some cake. Hi everyone, there have been a lot of people still asking me about where I stand on the super mega situation after I decided to delete my initial statement. I followed that video up at an intro of a video from three weeks ago, but a lot of people didn't see it, and I want to further clarify how I feel after taking some time to reflect on it. I initially responded with anger when concerns were raised about my coverage of the story, because I believed that these criticisms were coming in bad faith from audiences of creators that have harassed me in the past. After reading messages from people in my community who have legitimate and valid concerns about my stance on the situation, I now realise that there are a lot of real criticisms about the videos I made that are sincere and point out where I seriously mishandled my coverage and reaction to the story. My responses minimised and discredited a lot of my viewers' concerns, and I was immature with how I reacted. I mean, he just keeps going on, just blah blah blah, keeps going on. What I'm not seeing in this apology is... I'm sorry, Super Mega. But from that, this apology really means nothing, does it? Because you're apologizing to your fans because you handled the situation poorly. What about apologizing to the person's lives that you directly affected with your video? Where's the apology to Super Mega? You, my friend, are a fool and you're an idiot. Mm, take that. <laughs> that felt good. So yeah, to sum up the whole situation, I don't think this guy's actually sorry. I just think he's trying to apologize over and over so his financial situation doesn't get affected. But guess what's already happened? You already made the mistake and all of your apologies have been full of shit. I gotta chill out. So until, my friend, you actually reflect on the situation and come back and be the better man, at the moment, you're going to remain in my head as a huge insult. By the looks of things, you go through life hating people that disagree with you. And for that, I just want to say, you know, Nick, you fucking suck. Just one more time. Just really had to get it out there, okay? And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole situation. I'm sorry if I've been gone a long time, all right? I really am sorry. But if you guys hit the like button and comment down below, it'll encourage me to upload a new video the next day. With all that said, I just love you guys. And uh, I'm going to leave you with a Bible verse, John chapter 4, verse 8. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. And a personal anecdote for myself, God is king. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro?